My name is Mr. Nolan and I teach photography, video and digital imaging for stage six. Photography, video and digital imaging in stage six is designed to enable students to gain an increasing accomplishment and independence in their representation of ideas in the fields of photography, video and digital imaging. And to understand and value how these fields of practice invite different interpretations and explanations. What are the objectives of this course? Well, the objectives are, are for students to develop knowledge, skills, and understanding through the making of photographic or video or digital images that lead to and demonstrate conceptual and technical accomplishment. So, what do I mean by technical accomplishment? Technical accomplishment is a student's ability to use digital and analog technologies so the old type of cameras and the new digital technology and software at a high level, enabling them to produce refined artworks, um, both photographic and video based. Excellent. What do I mean by conceptual accomplishment? Well, this is a student's ability to represent their ideas in their art making and bring personal connection and meaning to their artworks. So what does this course offer? Uh, photography, video and digital imaging offers students the opportunity to explore contemporary artist practice that makes use of photography, video and digital imaging. This course offers opportunities for students to investigate one or more of the fields and to develop understanding and skills contributing to an informed uh, critical practice. What do I mean by practice? Uh, this is a student's ability to create photographic and video works informed by their research and investigation into other artists' work. Photography, video and digital imaging also offers opportunities for students to investigate uh, how the areas of visual arts, design, television, film, video, uh, mass media and multimedia, um, how they have changed and evolved over the 20th century. Uh, this course is heavily weighted on practical, uh, with the assessment comprising of 70% practical and 30% critical and historical investigations. This allows students to engage with analog and digital technologies and gain a deep understanding of the processes and associated hardware and software in order to be able to create successful photographic and video works. Uh, so what post-school opportunities does this course offer? Uh, this course is a content endorsed course. It is regulated by NESA and all marks are submitted to NESA and will appear on your final year 12 transcript. Uh, this course does not contribute towards your ATAR. This course may lead to further post-school study at university or TAFE, uh, as well as vocational training in the context of the workplace. Uh, employment opportunities relating to this course are fields such as design, television, film and video, mass media and multimedia, and advertising. Learning may also continue through ongoing life experiences as photography uh, being an area of personal interest. Uh, there is no requirement for you to have studied photography in stage five as the course allows students to work to their own abilities and interests.